If your car has ever been towed, you know it can be a difficult and expensive process to get your vehicle back. Now lawmakers are trying to make it easier by setting guidelines for companies to follow. Channel 3's Cam Smith is digging into the proposals and joins us live from outside the state house tonight. Cam, what can you tell us? Yeah, Kat and Darren, according to a report by the National Public Interest Research Group, Vermont is among five states with the fewest protections in place for those who have been towed. And while lawmakers want to change that, some towing companies say it'll be detrimental to their business. It's hard work and, and it comes with uh, a lot of expenses, a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of time away from families. Jason Akers is the owner of the auto clinic in Barrie and has worked as a tow truck driver for nearly three decades. He says oftentimes when they're called to tow a vehicle, pay is not guaranteed. And proposed changes in Montpelier have him and his business on edge. When the industry ends up regulated, nobody's coming out to help you. You're going to be on your own, unfortunately. I hate to say it like that. I hate to even think about that. H-143, introduced by Burlington Representative Barbara Rachelson, aims to regulate how much tow companies can charge. She says pricing for services varies by company, and the bill aims to level the playing field for businesses and consumers. I'm just looking for common sense, good, reasonable business practices. We're just putting people in, in situations that I really don't think we want to be. Among the proposed changes to the industry are fixed rates for non-consensual tows of $125, a requirement that the tow company release a vehicle if an owner realizes their car is being towed, and fixed rates for storage of the vehicle until it's picked up. Oh, you, you didn't park where you were supposed to, or you forgot about the parking ban, or whatever happened, and it's fair that you um, have to pay for the mistake that you made. Um, and we want to make sure that the, the reasonable practices are put into place. In 2023, the Attorney General's office received a dozen complaints from across the state, including residents who feel they were overcharged for services. The president of Vermont's Towing Association says with increased costs for things like insurance and equipment, these changes won't be sustainable. I think you're going to see a lot of uh, smaller towing companies or even larger towing companies uh, either go out of business or, or severely downscale. I think you're going to lose the majority of the towing companies to assist with the state. Back in Barrie, Akers says not only is he worried about business, he feels there's a public safety risk involved with these changes too. I'm worried about the people that go off the road when it's zero degrees out and nobody's coming to help them. Now, other changes include having towing companies allow payment in terms of credit cards and other forms of payment, and they also must notify the, the owner of the vehicle where their car is being held. Reporting live in Montpelier, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News. Cam.